Hello, Donna here. In today's video, I've got some typewriter ideas for you. The first thing I want to share with you is this fantastic typewriter that I picked up off Facebook Marketplace. The seller had it advertised for $100. I took a risk and I just left it sit there for a week and I watched it and it was for sale locally. So I eventually sent through an offer for $50, which was half price of what she advertised it for, and she accepted my offer. If you're not desperate, try that tip out. It sometimes works and it sometimes doesn't. But with something like a typewriter, it's not so bad because people sell a lot of these. So I was prepared to wait. So that's a good tip. Look for these on Marketplace. I picked this one up for 50 Australian dollars. So the first idea I'm going to show you is using tissue paper. I'm going to use tissue paper directly into the typewriter. And then when I put the tissue paper in the typewriter, I'm then able to glue the tissue paper directly onto a collage and it looks fantastic. You can glue it directly onto your page. You can glue it onto a tag. There's so many ways you can use a typewriter quote on tissue paper. I'm just going to get a small single layer of tissue paper and feed it into the typewriter exactly the same way I would a normal piece of paper. Tissue paper's got a shiny side and a more of a textured side. So I'm going to put the shiny side facing up and I'm going to put it in so that when it comes around to face me that the rough side is going to be facing up. So that's the side that I want to be able to see. You can also move this stopper here so that when you bring it back, all your, your starting points are going to be in the right place. So if you want it to start there, move your stopper to start there. Then push it there and see where it is. So all my sentence for my quote or my poem is going to start there every time. All right, if I move it back to here, when I return, it's going to come and start back here. So be aware that you can do that on these smaller pieces of paper and just start typing. The ink dries pretty quick too, by the way. So you can tear that. And now that's ready to glue onto your page. What if you haven't got any tissue paper? It works on your pattern paper as well. So just pull out a piece of your pattern paper. So you put it on back to front again. Start it off at the beginning so you know where you're going to start, feed it in the same as you would any other piece of paper. Work out where you want it to start and off you go again. And you've got your little poem or your quote directly onto your pattern paper and you can use that the same way. You can tear that and mod podge that down or glue it directly onto your page. This is an old Webster dictionary. I've used white gesso at the top and antique white paint, just normal acrylic paint at the bottom. Now I'm going to put that in 
upside down, back to front. Again, the tab here is where I'm going to start. So I'm going to start around about here. So I'll feed that in. And I've got to work out where it is. So where I think I should start. That's not in the right place. I want to start about there. So I'm going to take that out and come back a bit further. Just take a bit of care where you're placing things. It, it'll really be worth it. And I'm going to start about there. If I could spell, that one would have been good. Now the good thing to use is craft paper. This is some craft wrapping paper that I've had for years and years and years. So craft paper looks absolutely beautiful, all typed up. You could type up as many quotes as you want on this and it doesn't really matter where they land because if you leave gaps, you'll be able to tear them off or cut them out and use them in your journal whenever you want. This one here are just off cuts of my coffee dyed paper. So when I've used these for pages, these are just the bits that I've trimmed off the edge. Yeah, they're small, but they still work. You just put them in, you've got to put it upside down again and you just put a small quote. You still need to put them under there. You don't have to but you're better off to and just put something tiny on there. I think I need to polish up on my typing a little bit. <laughs> it's a little bit rough but you know I'm, I'm <laughs> I do need to practice some more. Honestly, your scraps can be used too. It looks great. And here's another one that I've got. This was in my mum's stash. So I thought it's Christmas time. It's quite appropriate. So let's just use this one because I think it will show up nicely. So just little notepads like this, if you've got them, you can type on these as well. You really would need to put a bit more thought into that, but the, once you've done one, if you've done a blank piece of paper first, that would give you an idea where you need to start. So if I type that out on a blank piece of paper, I know the next time I need to start typing around about here, and that would land in the center a bit better. So there's some wonderful typing ideas. Just using your manual typewriter, I think this typewriter looks better than the text that we use on our computers. I mean, you know, like if you haven't got a typewriter, see if you can hunt one down because I think you'll have a lot of fun using a real typewriter to type out your little quotes and, and you'll have a whole lot of fun. It's more fun than I imagined it was going to be. I've used it on every other piece of paper than a white piece of copy paper. I'm Donna, thanks for watching and bye for now.